All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video from AA Sports Cards. I've got my sunglasses on, the white shirt, because it's summertime, heat waves everywhere, including where I live. I'm going to put these down for a second and remove these so we can make a proper video. All right. Uh, I am taking advantage of the nice weather to, you know, always working hard here at AA Sports Cards, but making sure I get out and enjoy the summer. I hope everybody watching this is as well. However, today I combined business and pleasure and met a, con a local consigner who gives us cards all the time. Uh, met him down uh, in a very nice area, taking advantage of the nice weather, and he gave me some cards you're going to see on eBay uh, very shortly under our user ID, Vahuda. Scroll across the screen, pretend it is doing that. I don't know how to do it. V-A-H. O-O-T-A, Vahuda, on eBay. And uh, the good thing about this particular consignment is it's all vintage baseball. There are no common cards. Am I getting glare here? There are no common cards to be found. Every card, there's the Hank. Every card is a star of varying degrees, but there are no commons. And there's some very, very nice rookie cards I'm going to show at the end of this video. So again, you will see all of these cards up for sale very shortly. These are, these are all Topps cards. They are not Opeechee. And we've sold a lot of Opeechee for this gentleman in the past with a lot more to follow. I know this gentleman has, for example, a 1965 Opeechee baseball set, which I hope one day he'll want us to sell for him. But in the meantime, very happy to get these today. It's nice to... Uh, get local consignments because they don't have to come in the mail and I can take them home and start working on them promptly. As a matter of fact, I have started to work on this gentleman's collection. This is Jim Catfish Hunter's rookie card. He was not catfish yet. He would be soon. I've already started to work on this gentleman's cards. They're in very decent shape. Mostly X, X plus. And he acquired all of these back in the early 70s. He is a long time astute and advanced collector. It's an honor that he chose AA Sports Cards to help him sell his collection. I don't have a yogiism, but I do have his card from 1964. Getting to the end, Ed Matthews, classy, classy Hall of Famer. Getting to the end of the meat and potatoes, and I wanted to show a few. Is that a Don Sutton rookie card? I believe it is. Is it? Yeah, it is. These are the key cards in the group, and uh, we'll start with the oldest. There is a 1965 Topps Steve Carlton rookie card. Here is a, another uh, great rookie card from 1966, Joe Morgan, who would go on to play for the Cincinnati Reds, my favorite baseball team growing up, part of the Big Red Machine and a Hall of Famer, of course, as all these gentlemen are. Here's a very cool card I have not had in a long time. This is a 1967 Topps Rod Carew rookie card. I realize I'm not showing the backs here. Sorry about that, guys. There is the back. And the last card, the best for last. Truly my favorite baseball player growing up, Johnny Bench. I've said this on several videos. Johnny Bench has a striking resemblance to my uncle. And uh, I had an affinity for goalies when I was growing up, as I still do, being a hockey guy. Catchers were the closest thing to goalies, so I was always attracted to the equipment, but I loved Johnny Bench. He was my guy. So there's Johnny Bench's rookie card. Uh, 
from the 1968 Topps baseball set. So not a big collection by any stretch, but a nice collection. I'm going to turn Joe over here. A nice group of vintage baseball Hall of Famers you will see on eBay very, very shortly. And now I'm going to try something. Hold on one sec. Don't get motion sickness, anybody. And keep in mind that this particular card that I'm going to show you still has plenty of time left to go. So in the video that I made previous to this, I don't know if you watch my YouTube videos at all. If you do, thank you. But if you watch them and you have them in order, the video that I made right before this one last week, I want to show everybody a card. I'm going to remove my camera, okay? Don't get sick, everybody. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. Am I able to turn this around? I'm not able to turn this around. Why am I not able to turn this around? Ah, I can't turn this around. So we'll wait for the next video. But what I wanted to show was a, a Pavel Bure card that I had um, put in the last video from the Cup from 2012. I'm looking at it right now. It's at $485.00. 19 bids so far with four days left and uh, i'm pleasantly surprised it's numbered out of 35 it's doing very very well for that consigner so uh next time i will show that video because i can't seem to do it here thank you for watching everybody and johnny and the rest of this baseball collection will and i will see you very soon with more videos to come thanks for watching everybody have a nice summer and we'll be back soon take care everybody. all right here we go everybody part two of the of this video so this is the pavel beret card that i was talking about and it is uh in part of the last video we made as you can see We've got four days and three hours or so left to go. Lots of time in the bidding. We are already at $485 for our consigner. Uh, this card is performing really, really well. And uh, it'll be w lots of fun to watch where this, uh, this card ends up. So just wanted to put a little amendum, amendum, amendum to this video. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and again, we will see you soon with more videos. Take care, everyone. All the best. Please consign if you reside across Canada. Vintage, high-end, modern, as you can see, we do it all, and those are that's another lot currently that we're running, and that's it. Okay, guys, see you soon. Thanks, everybody.